how to add a animated background in Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add any animated GIF as a background on Shopify because by default, Shopify does not allow you to add GIFs as backgrounds. So if I was to open up the Shopify store editor to show you guys what it looks like, this is what it looks like. And on the left, we have the option to add a couple of sections. We can click on add section. And if we build a simple image banner like this, this is what we normally use as our you know primary section you guys can see we only have the options to add an image however if you want to make your shopify store a bit more interesting and not only do you have these banners as your background but the entirety of your store you guys can see whenever you create a shopify store you can see this is a background if you select any section over here and you scroll down and you click on your scheme you have a color set as a background however if you want to elevate this to the next level you can add some really nice animated gifs and i'll show you guys how so I'm going to save this pink color as an example so you guys can see when our new GIF is applied. Now I'm going to click on exit and we're going to be making some changes onto our Shopify code. It's really simple and easy and you just have to copy and paste it. So you don't have to worry about having to learn to code because even I don't know how to code. We're just doing some copy pasting. So what you're going to do is first you're going to open up your Shopify dashboard and over here you're going to click on online store on the left. Once you click on online store you are going to click on these three dots. Now you can click on duplicate over here to add a duplicated version of your current store in your theme library. Now the reason why some people like to do this is because this allows them the peace of mind that hey i have a original version of my shopify store even if i mess up the code on my shopify editor i still can revert back to the original version so you can keep a copy in your theme library once you've done that click on these three dots again and then click on edit code once you click on edit code this is what it's going to look like on the left you have a couple of folders and you can see that there are quite a few different folders over here. Now, we want to access the base.css. It can be really hard to find like so. So just go into the search bar on top. In this search bar, type in base.css and you will find it under assets. So click on base.css and you're just going to open this code file up. Now, this is a really long file and you just want to scroll to the bottom like so. Once you scroll to the bottom, you will see that it ends at a bracket. So just click on the line uh, that is after the bracket and then just press return a couple of times so you have some empty space to work with. Once you do that, you are going to copy this code and I will leave a link to this code in the description box down below. So this is the code that you have to copy and then you're going to paste it in a fresh line. Make sure that you are placing this in a fresh line. Uh, this cannot be, you know, this is not gonna work if you paste it in a pre-existing line. And another really big mistake people make is that they don't copy the entire thing. If you're copying like this, that means you haven't copied the final bracket, which means that your code is going to be rendered as useless. So, make sure to copy the entire thing as it is and then just paste it in now once you've pasted it in just click on save on the top right now from here you're going to choose the gif or animated background that you want to use you guys can see over here within this code and i'll just zoom in a little so you guys can better see like so so you guys can see within this code over here we have this gif url so this is this red text and over here you're going to cut this and paste in your own url however keep in mind that you're supposed to keep the apostrophes along the url so make sure to do that now there are two ways to do this some people like to upload their gifs onto their own shopify media files the reason for that is if you're copying and pasting urls from a third-party website 
that website page might change. They might redirect their URLs. They might change it up in multiple different ways. So the safer option is to upload on your own media file. So you're hosting the media file yourself. To do that, you're going to click on exit. Now I'm going to go on to Google over here and I've just searched for pattern background GIF. I'll just search for moving pattern background. And you guys can see we have this one. This is just some glimmering stars. And I want to use something that is cute and minimalistic. So let's see this one over here. This is, you know, a very typical glitch one. I'm going to go for this heart. Let's see if these are working. The quality on those is really low. So I want something that has good quality. We have this one. We also have this one. We have quite a few different options. I'm going to search for GIF pink moving wallpaper. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at this one. I think we already saw this. So I want something that is going to look not too much. I think this looks really cute. So I'm going to click on open link in new tab. And usually you can just open up the GIF. So open image in new tab. Then you are going to save the image. And when you're saving it, just make sure that you are saving it as a GIF. Once you have saved this as a GIF, go back into Shopify. Then once you go into Shopify, you're going to click on content on the top left on your dashboard. Then click on files. Click on upload files over here and just upload your GIF file. So in a couple of seconds, your GIF file is going to be uploaded and I'm just going to wait. So it has now been uploaded and you guys will see your new GIF file. Now over here on the right, you have the option to copy the link for the GIF file. Simply copy this link and then you're going to go back into online store on the left. Once you go into online store, click on those three dots and click on edit code. Then again, you're going to search for base.css and you're going to open up the same file. Scroll to the bottom where you added that new code and select the GIF URL. Make sure to select the entirety of the text like this and then command V or just paste in your own GIF URL. Click on save on the top right. And once you've done that, you can click on preview store to see whether or not your new GIF background is now working. And we're going to click on exit over here. Currently, it hasn't started working. So I am just going to click on customize over here. Once I click on customize, it might take a little bit of time for the section to start working and it is working as you guys can see over here on the full version of our store if i just create this type of collection and i will just go on to the logo and then we have our colors we have all our schemes so i will choose a white background and once i have done that i will click on save once I click on save and I open up the full version of my store, you guys saw that our background has taken effect, but in the sections where I have added, you know, a particular color, it's not going to work. So I would just have to add section. We have a few different sections, but I am going to go ahead and add a slideshow, let's say. And you guys can see that our background is this nice little color. And what I'm going to do is I can, you know, add images and you can add this background to other sections as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries regarding Shopify or any other platform, make sure to leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say and have a great day ahead.